on this quick tip, I just wanted to show you a method in Photoshop just for creating a, a slightly more randomized background if you're creating a composition from scratch. Um, on this one, I'm just going to convert this over to a smart object as we've looked at in the previous quick tips with the filters. It allows me to then use them as a smart filter and makes them adjustable and non-destructive. And I'm then going to go to the filter menu. I've, I've been careful, incidentally, to set my, my foreground and background colors here to the colors I want to use here. And I'm then going to go to the filter menu and down to render. And the option I want to show you is fibers down here. It's one that most people I find have never even touched. And if they have, they maybe weren't quite sure how it worked. And I'm going to click on fibers. And what it will do is it will allow me to create this type of background so I can create this kind of fiber effect in the background using the two colors that I've set over here. If I want to, I can increase the variance or decrease it, which is effectively like a different contrast there. And I can also increase the strength of this, make it a little sharper there and bring it down or randomize it a bit more if I want to. When I'm done, all I need to do is go over here and click OK, and it drops it in there as a smart fill to see what a little bit of um, a background there. Now, what you could do is you could go in here, for example, into the adjust the filter settings here by double clicking these two little lines here and bring the opacity down a little bit, for example. So if you wanted to kind of have it a little bit more faded in, maybe you didn't want it quite so strong, that might be an option. Another thing you might want to do in there is just to kind of give it a little bit more of an effect, maybe drop something in there, like some lighting effects maybe, or, or on an easier level, just something simple like a lens flare. Um, not, not to suggest you should be dropping a lens flare on everything you do by any means, but it just gives it a slightly different effect. You can bring the brightness of that down or up if you wanted to. And when you're done, click OK, and it drops that onto there. If you want to move it around, double click lens flare, and you can then reposition it. And that's the beauty of these smart filters is you can adjust them and move them around. And it just gives you a little bit of a background there. Again, the lens flare, if it's a little bit too much, go in there, and you can always go in there and drop it down from here. So uh, bring it down a little bit if you wanted to. And it just, again, makes it a little bit more interesting than just the standard one. So hopefully that's something you might find useful. Have a little play with it. Try it with different colors and just experiment a little bit.